Wow, so this pandemic has really made me lazy. It's uh, difficult to get up at 6 when it used to be pretty easy to get up at 4.30. So uh, definitely times have changed. Hopefully we will be able to do this test early in the morning. So we did get up early today to try to do a, an efficiency test on the Model Y. We're going to try the efficiency at 70 miles per hour with the aero covers on and with aero covers off. We do have the long range Model Y dual motor with the 19 inch Gemini wheels which do have the aero covers that you can put on or remove uh, to your liking. So today we're gonna see what the efficiency hit is if you take those aero covers off. It is supposed to be more efficient with them on which would be the main reason for having them on. Um, but let's see if it actually gives you any better efficiency at 70 miles per hour, which is most likely the speed where it's going to begin to give you some actual assistance with the aerodynamics. So we're getting the battery charged up just enough to, to warm the battery. So we've just been uh, charging it for the past uh, 20 minutes or so. And we're going to get on the road and try to make sure that the battery is uh, nice and warmed up before we start the test we'll go ahead and do you know a good let's say uh, 10 miles of driving to get that battery warmed up so that then when we start the test uh, we'll start with the arrows on and then we'll do the test later with the arrows off and see I'm trying to make it as fair as possible obviously we're going to do the same routes we're going to do the same few miles with the arrow covers on and arrow covers off and i will uh, keep track of it here on the trip meter so we'll reset this trip meter and we'll use that as a comparison So we went ahead and set a navigation to the supercharger to help warm the battery. So I want to get that battery in the optimal temperature. seems to be warmed up better now and we have warmed up the tires so we're going to go ahead and start the test with the aero covers on we're going to start it right here at this sign 70 speed limit sign we're going to go 70 miles per hour should be able to stay in the right lane and not be drafting anybody that's the goal. And we're just going to check this watt hours per mile at just a steady 70 miles per hour with the aero covers on and then with the aero covers off. We're going to go north and then south. Two different numbers for the watt hours per mile on arrows and then we're going to do the same route, the same amount of miles with the aero covers off. So we're coming up on five miles. That's what we're going to do. Five miles one way, five miles the other way. Get the average of the two and then do the same the air covers off at five miles we are at 202 watt hours per mile with the air covers on 202 watt hours per mile with air covers on going north for 5.1 miles 
So now we're turning around. Gonna head back. To the same exit. Let's take control sign. That's where we're gonna set the trip meter from. Set the meter and change the name to no arrow. All right, we got the trips reset. The arrow covers off. We're gonna go back and do the same test again. Going north again. We're gonna reset the trip meter with no arrow. As soon as we get up to the 70 mile per hour speed limit sign, we're gonna reset it right here at the speed limit sign, just like we did with the arrow covers on. up on our exit but unfortunately we just got behind this truck and so that's a little irritating because we're going down 60 miles per hour and that obviously is going to impact efficiency but with the aero covers off 5.1 miles 214 watt hours per mile so no arrows going north 5.1 miles, 214 watt hours per mile. We're gonna turn around, head back. Hopefully we'll get 5.3 miles going south. All right, so this time looks like we're gonna be able to get up to 70 miles per hour. However, there are a lot of trucks here. Let's see if I can get around them. I don't wanna draft these trucks. can't see it but that was the state patrol sign where we reset the trip meter yeah this traffic's just bad now that's I don't know this is not gonna work because now we're going 60 miles per hour we for already for two miles so unfortunately that was not a very good test of the southbound with the arrow covers off. Getting right to the exit, we are at, well, at 5.3 miles. We're at 257 watt hours per mile. Again, half of that test was basically not valid because we had to go 60 or less and we're behind big trucks so we were kind of drafting as well as going a lot slower so unfortunately i think we're gonna to have to do this this test again when there's not so much traffic and we can more easily avoid all of that the northbound tests are pretty comparable so i think that that might be a pretty good uh, starting point so unfortunately, we were foiled by the traffic on the last leg of that test. We did four runs, two with arrows on and two with arrow covers off. And it was going pretty well until that last run where we ended up stuck behind slow trucks. And so that wasn't a very good test. But based on the first leg of the test, comparing between the two, uh, just going northbound, 
we did end up with 202 watt hours per mile with the aero covers on and 214 watt hours per mile with the aero covers off on that five miles 5.1 miles actually of that uh, leg of the test so that is around a six percent efficiency hit I think it should be somewhere more like 3% uh, or 4% with the aero covers at uh, 70 miles per hour. But it looks like we're definitely going to have to do this test again, a longer term test. Uh, so we need to get more miles so it levels out a little bit more. And also in a more controlled environment, definitely going to have to see if we can get uh, some time when there's not going to be so many trucks on the road. Uh, that was unfortunate because I really thought that we were going to get a pretty good test there until just that last part of it. Uh, unfortunately, two and a half miles or so, we were stuck behind trucks going 60 miles per hour instead of our 70 mile per hour test. So definitely that ruined the southbound test where we got 277 watt hours per mile with the air covers on and somewhere around 256 watt hours per mile with the air covers off which obviously is the opposite efficiency uh, that we would expect between the two. If you like what we're doing here, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.